Okay. I hate that I use the word beautiful sometimes, but <laughs> I'm. it is just beautiful that you can bring conjure up these memories of your dad and I can picture him and I just adore him Ugh. because of what he did for you and made you feel good as a person and supported you. And like, I just can't even, I think he's amazing from what I've learned both on the podcast and off the podcast from yeah. you. I, I just love this man. So and we will get there for sure. And, oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, he was definitely my support system my entire life. And we That's... didn't have a long time together. I know. So I know. I was robbed. I know. You but, were robbed. Uh, but thank God that you yeah. have the had him and have his memories. Absolutely. So, and, you know, I mean, you touch tone. You touch stone to him throughout your life. Oh. I mean, he's still with you. Totally. Uh, believe me, I know that it seems like empty words, but when you lose people but conjure them up mm -hmm. to help you, they're not gone. Right. They're not gone. Yeah. So for me, that was oh, you know, any I memory of Christmas with him, that's the best. That's, so that's the best. And I'm making new memories with my new small family and yeah we're very happy and you know i really have him to thank for teaching me the values of keeping it keeping it simple oh simple i will briefly briefly say first of all i love your dad your adopted <laughs> dad so much Thanks. but um very briefly, and a memory that I still hold dear was the year after I got divorced, I rented a house and I decided not to go anywhere that Christmas. I was just battening down the hatches. I had my dog at my side and I was just going to be on the phone all day. It was one of my best Christmases ever. Yeah. I mean, I literally, like, I was on the phone all day calling people, wishing them a happy Christmas, listening to them, hearing about their Christmas. And, but I didn't have to go anywhere and I wasn't stressed out. I was still connected to people, mm -hmm. but I was warm and cozy in the house. I wasn't stressed by dropping off gifts or I was able to connect with so many more people that way. Mm-hmm. I loved it. It really, I can still picture myself on the couch in that rented house. It just so content with that dog just sleeping by my side. And that's <laughs> an example thing. of just keeping it simple. Keeping it simple. Just kind of yeah. go, I'm, I'm just going to totally. enjoy my day and not go through the entire frenzy. Do you have... Any other memories, like a favorite memory you would like to share? Is that, or is that the one that resonates the most with you? That resonates the most. I think having some Christmases with my biological mom, that definitely meant a lot to me um, to be able to share that time with her and like her always giving me the Santa ornaments or Santa something. I mean, I still have them and I get them out every year and <sighs> Merry and Christmas, you know, it just goes hand in hand. Yeah. Well, how about something? My next category is old versus new. So how about an old tradition that maybe you transformed or something that you changed about what you used to do, maybe in your childhood and something that is new in your adulthood. It's something that maybe you've evolved or um, changed over time. Oh yeah. Um, the whole gift giving thing when you get older with siblings and there's that transition. Do we keep giving each other gifts? Or are we exhausted by this? You know, right. we all have so much stuff. Can we stop now? Um, so the decision to just give each other ornaments. Oh, love it. Yeah. 
Good call. You give me an ornament, I'll give you one, and you kind of come up, you try to come up with something that means something to them or is clever in that year. I love that, that you can simplify it by, and it can be handmade. You make your own ornaments, that kind of thing. So simplifying Christmas by giving away handmade ornaments that I love so much. And then I get to get them out each year too. So one of my sisters always like dates and puts the year on the back of them. So I have these ornaments from her where I'm like, oh, I remember that. (laughs) <laughs> I remember that year. So I love that she did that. You know, that's a great, that's a very good answer. Oh my God. That's a good answer. Like this should be a helpline right now <laughs> for Christmas in general. If you want to simplify Christmas, right. suggest to your siblings, let's just exchange ornaments. You'll love your life exactly. <laughs> after that. Like, it'll just make things so much simpler. Well, you get it going for 2021. I'm sure a lot mm-hmm. of people will jump on board. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're going to make that viral. There you mm-hmm. go. Oh, not in a bad way, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I think that a couple things have changed for us as well, as far as the old versus the new. Um, I, I, I we just stay home, and it's really yeah. just us and the animals mm-hmm. on Christmas Day, and we just don't do all the crazy stuff. Anymore. Well, and I know you can't visit some of your people, and I can't either. So right. I mean. That's very difficult. Yeah. And I think this year, I have a sister who lives in one of the states out west. And um, I'm going to be giving her the gift of charity. Oh, nice. Which I know she loves because she is a very charitable person. And I think donating on her behalf is a really great gift. And... Um, she's done that for me before, oh, and that's so nice. just, you know, this is the year to really do something like that. So, yeah, um, that's what I'm going to do. And I know that she feels good about doing good for others. And so I feel like doing that in her name is going to be my gift to her this year. And I so want to meet her someday. Oh, oh she's my so goodness. Cool. She's so cool. And, oh. um, yeah, I think we're we're gonna do some sort of a video chat or something on oh, good. Christmas yeah. Day. So good. Um, hopefully we can get her to talk to us at some point when we're ready to approach the subject. So yeah. But she's she's the coolest. She's way cooler than I am, actually. Um mm. so the last category, how about your favorite holiday movies or shows or something you like to watch on television anything Uh, yeah i mean um you go first because i have to think of the name of it (laughs) 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 you know no i'm kidding (laughs) i'm kidding uh you come up with yours first okay um there are a few that i like of course um you know, a, a couple of the Christmas classic movies that pop up, of course, like White Christmas. And um, at some point, I might have to watch uh, Christmas Story. Um, oh, love that. Yeah. I love that. Have uh, you been to the Christmas Story house? That, that's so ridiculous that you ask that because I have not. Oh, God, you have to go. <laughs> I was thinking that the other day, like, I've never been there. Um, I know, and I'm sure... It, it will was, put the hugest smile on I your know, face. And I, I would love to Maybe see next it. year. Yeah, Let's go there together year. when COVID is over because I loved going there. Uh, oh, I will God. have to see if I can do that i i want to go in maybe july christmas in july oh yeah yeah Yeah. so um 
That's that's the thought. But yes, usually Christmas story. I don't need to watch 24 hours of it or anything ridiculous wow. like that. But I like to mix it up. Um, a couple years ago, I discovered Daddy's Home 2. <laughs> Never <laughs> heard of it. Okay. <laughs> That has Mark Wahlberg in it, mm. Will Ferrell, John. What? Yes, John Lithgow, who is a national treasure. Oh yeah, we have him. Uh, Mel Gibson, and so it's. <laughs> and this is a Christmas movie. It's a Christmas movie. Daddy's so Home too. There was a an original Daddy. Also, Home. sounds like it could be like a triple X movie. Sorry, it's not at all. <laughs> it's still very kid friendly, but it, okay, it should and shall make you laugh. Oh. Um, of course, Mel Gibson is Mel Gibson, and he's so, he's playing Mark Wahlberg's father. <sighs> and then there's John Lithgow, who is playing Will Ferrell's father. <laughs> totally perfect. And it's oh great. My God. And they're all going away for Christmas, and all these things happen, and it is so funny from start to finish. And it's just funny. It's one of the more modern movies that I've discovered. That's that funny. Is yeah. very funny. And the first time I saw it, I just howled. And I don't know. I love to laugh. And I just thought it was hysterical. Um, Daddy's Home on its own is very funny. But the second one, it tops it. It's very, very good. Um you know, and of course, I have to look at YouTube to see what else is out there because you know how I love variety shows. Oh man, yeah. from the past, and so I'll just kind of watch anything else that pops up. But um, we kind of watch a little bit of everything and anything here. Um, yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. How about you? All right. Well. I think I was beyond college. And this sounds to me like I didn't even know what ketchup and mustard were when I named this song, this movie. Um, It's a Wonderful Life. Like, (laughs) it's such a great movie. And it's almost too painful to watch sometimes. Like, this Christmas, I haven't watched it because I can't even. I know I will sob multiple times through the movie. I love it so much. It is um, good. Because he's such a, I mean, Jared, mm. anyways, it's a wonderful life. And I remember, too, um, bringing the VCR tape home of It's a Wonderful Life to my adopted family because um, they had never heard of it. I'm like, wait, what shell do we live in? Wait, you guys are all, like my parents, my adopted parents had never heard of it Not or seen it. Ma- it, it, it back up yeah, i know rewind they'd never heard of heard it? of it or seen it oh. never heard in me i know it blows my it blew my mind because i'm like i'm gonna bring this home and i'm sure you've seen it before but i really want to watch it with everybody and they're like never heard of it uh, what you know but then media was different back then let's yeah. be real i guess like things, thing not everything was everywhere at all times Ugh. so i mean i played this for them and they were like it's okay <laughs> are you kidding me uh, are you kidding me so, so it's such a good movie it is mm. like mm. So I that is my number one will always be my number one Christmas movie. It's it, so it, good. It, there's no denying how soul searing that is. Yeah. Because they show a man at his worst and his bad. Like he is I mean, what movie showed a man on the edge of suicide that's gonna be uplifting at the end? I mean it's just phenomenally done. Well, dare I bring up Die Hard? That oh, okay. <laughs> Die Hard is a great Christmas movie. It is yes. a Christmas movie. But I, then I wanted to get to Love Actually. Okay. Have you, ever, have you seen that? Yeah. Okay. There is a mixed bag. When the first time I saw it, it was all about the music. I loved all the music in it. Okay. And I saw it a few times. Like, I love this, love, love this, love this music, love this movie, love it, love it, love it. 
And then I saw it last year with my um, sister. We're sitting here, and I'm like, oh, I love this movie. And I put it on, and I'm like, oh, there's so much I don't love anymore about yeah. it. Right? It's almost two something. And the relationship between something. Emma, what's her name? <gasps> 